well, sustainability, quality housing, efficient infrastructure, economic accessibility, various leisure time possibilities, and close contact with nature, and all in a very modern style. I think this is how we all imagine a good living, isn't it? And this dream comes through in the very new district that is being planned in Zidlochovice, a city close to Brno. It offers innovations that help to achieve a carbon neutrality, significant savings in drinking water, and a reduction in individual transportation. This residential district that is called Hitra Lichy is the district of the future where promising technologies and solutions are tested. And our guide through Hitra Lichy for this moment is Jan Barta. It's the coordinator of Brno AI platform. So welcome here. Thank you, Anke. Okay, uh, good morning. I feel a bit nervous uh, after hearing all the great presentation from region and from Brno. Uh, is small, it is. But first of all, uh, I would like to ask you, you are not talking uh, very much. So uh, I'm curious, who are you? Uh, are you from university? Who is from university or education sector? Okay, business, companies, more or less, public sector. And yes, okay. Well, thanks. And two more questions. What do you, what is smart city? What do you feel what smart, smart city is for you? What does it mean? Is technology or way of thinking or uh, what is it? Just feel free to talk uh, without mic. Sorry for the online. <laughs> 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 Just talk. What is smart city for you? Okay. Maybe repeat it. Or Tomasz Tomasz has always much to say. So <laughs> <laughs> it's no wrong answer, I would say. For me, it's like very accessible. Everything I, I need to uh, deal with, for example, uh, government or, or city structures, I can do it easily online. So Kay. for me, it's like easy life. <laughs> I would say. Okay, you, thanks. I think it's with using technologies, but it doesn't necessarily need to be with using technologies. So, easy life. <laughs> okay, thanks. Who else? <laughs> technologies and ideas used for best living in general for me. Okay, thank you. Who else? Some ideas. Uh, it's a different way of thinking, okay. and also the technology is part of it. But it's not the goal. Uh, it's just some. Uh, uh, the technology can help us to achieve the goals, but it, it cannot be the goal itself. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Any other idea? Any other? Okay. The rest of you. What is living lab? What do you expect from a living lab? Do you have any expectations, or do you have any ideas how should it work for you? Yeah, <laughs> but what is it <laughs> actually? Uh, th there is a huge definition on wiki and on uh, European sites. But what does it mean for you, concretely for you? Okay, so I'm actually expecting something like a place where you can put some, I don't know, prototypes, some technology, mm -hmm. and let people interact with it. And then get the data from that, how it works. Mm -hmm. Great, on, the, on the real scenario. Any other idea? of what living lab could mean. <laughs> yeah, and they will probably will have a free Wi-Fi everywhere. <laughs> 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 OK, thanks. Someone else? OK, now I have to start working. Well, Zidlochovice <laughs> uh, <laughs> is really a small city. Small city, it's close to Vienna for people abroad. Uh, Brno is Zilochovice is here, there is no Brno, you see. But uh, uh, although it's small, it is uh, some 3,800 inhabitants, but it works as a city. There is a school, a uh, big school for 900 students, a uh, secondary school as well, some factories, and there is no Hyperloop, but there is a train, a yeah, brand new train station um, in Czech Republic, the only one built after some 50 or 60 years. And there is a way of thinking uh, or a city, at least from the, uh, from the city governors, from the city 
a council. It's close to Brno, a lot of people are going to work to Brno. But I, I would like to talk about uh, this small part of Židlochovice. <laughs> it's small, but it has some advantages. Like Židlochovice is small, so some decisions are made easily. Uh, this, this area is small, but it can, it can fail. If Špitalka fails, it's a problem. But if such a small area fails, OK. Uh, it's a pity, of course. But there are a lot of lessons learned. I hope it, uh, it's not going to fail, but in case. There's uh, a lot of, lot of stuff. Uh, we started with an idea. And now uh, we choose some different approach. And we have a lot of, a lot of lessons learned, a lot of fuck ups, a lot of uh, well, things that could be made better way, etc. Uh, in the very beginning, yeah, it's, uh, it's the north part of Židlochovice, this, this area, small one, and uh, there is only uh, residential buildings in the suburbs. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, Žižkov, not the Prague one, but the Židlochovice one in Žižkov. And these are single family houses and people having uh, gardens, pools, uh, fences, uh, dogs, etc. And the first idea some eight years ago was to build something well similar. Yeah, you know, this photo is from the neighborhood uh, uh, village uh, Holasice, which is a small garden house with uh, huge fences with the, I don't know how it was meant, the trees, big trees uh, that are in cemeteries. And uh, we didn't, wa we didn't w want to make it that way. Uh, this project has failed. I don't know why, but uh, it has failed. It was uh, classic development. And uh, we've met with the mayor of Židlochovice, with Jan Vitula, and started to think how to make it uh, in some other way. We don't want some 200 more people in Židlochovice leaving uh, early in the morning to Brno and returning back, just sleeping there. So. What do we want to make there? And uh, we have decided, we don't know, we just want to collect people together and think about it. Yeah, these are approaches like smart mobility, participation, communication with the people. Uh, it would be nice it, if it has some architecture inside, some great design. But there are also other aspects like sustainability, not only from the environmental point of view, but also from the social point of view and how to mix it together. So uh, we started with the approach to put some people, the experts from various fields together, and started to think about what is our goal, what to achieve in this such a small area, which has limitations, you know. It's small, so you cannot do there everything. And, uh, oh, it's in Czech, sorry, sorry for the English speaking, but, uh, uh, the, the final decision was to make, we want some district which will be for living. Uh, it's nonsense to make something else there. It's for living, well some 5 to 10 percent will be some services like, uh, I don't know, shop, kindergarten, etc. But we would like to be the district uh, as sustainable as possible. It means CO2 neutral, water management, saving, saving water, etc. But in the very beginning was talking with people how to make it so that the new people can integrate with the other people of Židlochovice. And how to make it uh, to keep people there, not to force them to go to Brno or somewhere else uh, to work, but uh, stay in that, ar in that area or in Židlochovice or nearby, not needing to leave every morning by car. So it was the whole approach. Uh, at, there were several uh, goals, uh, limited goals to some technology or not technology, but, but areas. In the field of energy, we wanted to make CO2 neutral carbon zero district. 
it might be a plus energy district, uh, but uh, in general it means we have to reduce the energy consumption as much as possible. And the rest we should produce on the field. Yeah, uh, th there will be just photovoltaics as the windmills are too high and th there is no wind. Uh, there is no possibility to make some uh, bio biofuels. So it's, it's going to be just by photovoltaics. And all the, all the fields, the, it's come back. Uh, we, we would need uh, the smart city agents, uh, smart region agency to be established three years ago. In that case, we have uh, our work much easier. Yeah, now we are dealing with uh, our concept of uh, CO2 neutral district uh, is limited by legislation, by, by uh, regulation rules. Yeah, that's why it's pilot project with the Ministry of uh, Trade and uh, Business. I don't know how is it in English. Ministerstvo Promyslu in Obchodu. So we, we, are trying, <laughs> we are trying a pilot project uh, where, to, uh, where to try to establish some community energy cooperation. And the same in uh, water management. We want to save as much drink water as possible on one hand, and the other hand, coming out of the district, uh, save some 50% 50, 50 of the wastewater. And it also has some lim limitation as uh, our officers can't even, even think about it, that we can use something else than the classical sewer system, right? the pipes where all the uh, wastewater uh, goes away. We don't want it. We want to make some local water cycle and uh, so we are, we are dealing with uh, this conservative way of thinking. I hope uh, South Morav Moravian region will help us uh, in uh, persuading all the officers to allow us to think about such a solution. Uh, uh, it's a uh, visualization, but uh, the other aspect was cars. Yeah, we would like to have this district for people, not for cars, but for people. And it was, <laughs> it was funny. Uh, as we started to talk about energy, water, it was everything okay. We mentioned cars and, well, it was a challenge. Uh, th there are cows in India, <laughs> there are cars in Czech Republic. Yeah? If you, if you, th if you uh, talk about uh, not having a car standing by your house, but 100 meters far away, it's a problem, it's a big problem. If you tell people, okay, uh, you are in a village, uh, city, uh, city. Uh, you, you are in a city, but you need one car for sure, yeah, leaving for Brno, et cetera. But do you really need the second one or even the third one? Or you can just be fine with one car and the second and third one you can share with each other or you can borrow it somewhere. Is it really possible? So it was a huge, uh, there are still huge discussions how to persuade people not having two or more cars. Yeah, the second car is just standing on the street for 99% of time, going once a week for, for a shopping or for something. But we are thinking, okay, let's try to uh, help people not needing the second car and now we are discussing with the car sharing company how to make in Židlochovice small city. Again, it's limiting. If it's Brno, it's a Spitalka, it's much easier to persuade people not needing cars eh, because of public transportation. But in the, uh, in the village of, uh, city of uh, Židlochovice, it's uh, difficult. And now we are thinking about how to help to establish this car sharing. So Honza Vitula, uh, the mayor of Židlochovice, uh, is, uh, is starting to think about, okay, let's get rid of some cars on the municipality, on the city council, on the, on the town hall, and start with uh, the sharing on the 
town hall. Uh, and to make the cars uh, for other citizens uh, of Zidlochovice, yeah, for sharing. I hope it's gonna work. But uh, generally, we want this uh, area without cars. Yeah, you, you are, of course, allowed to come to your house, uh, get off, uh, uh, t t t take out uh, your, uh, I don't know, uh, grandma or shopping, etc. But uh, the cars should park somewhere else. And final question, what is smart? Yeah, it's for us, it's approach. For, uh, for us, uh, it means, okay, let's think about what uh, re people really need. And the technology is just uh, mean how to, how to achieve these goals. Uh, if it goes without technology, okay, let's don't use technology. Let's make it as simple as possible. Uh, this KISS principle, keep, keep it simple, stupid. But of course, we are, okay, uh, I'll come to it later. Uh, now we are in the phase that we are finishing uh, the land use study. Uh, uh, we have been through some architectural competition. Uh, and the next year is for design, for design of everything, yeah? um, buildings, uh, streets, etc. But also for the solutions, yeah? for, for the energy solution. How, is it wo uh, how will it work? Yeah. There are no experiences from Czech Republic and few from abroad. So how the community energy can operate? Uh, who, will, who will be the operator of it? If EGD or city of Zidlochovice or someone totally different. Uh, so that's what we are going to design next year. And hopefully, <laughs> uh, since uh, 2023, we are going to begin the construction itself. I really hope it's going to be that fast. This is the uh, urban design. And just forget all the trees and all the green. Yeah, it will be there in 20 years, maybe. But there is uh, one parking place. There is a second parking place. And the cars won't be allowed to park over there. It's for people. Yeah, we don't want the cars, the, uh, the machines made of metal to block the place, to, to heat the place, to make the visual noise. It should be clean. And as you see, it's uh, much more dense than the previous era. As we think, OK, uh, we it's not sustainable to consume as much land as, uh, as, you, as you wish for living. If you build, build it as dense as possible. Uh, there, there is area uh, over there. It's planned to be some city park or city forest or something like that. So the people can leave outside. But if you build, build it dense. Don't waste the land just for some bricks and beton uh, and concrete. Uh, well, and uh, it makes also complications. Uh, I said we would like to. Co uh, we are communicating with uh, the people from this this area. Uh, they are used to uh, go to this place, place with their dogs and jogging, etc. And now there will be some something else. Uh, th there won't be a free area any any longer. So we have to communicate with them. How is it with traffic? Uh, it's much more it's much more dense, so they are expecting there will be much more cars. We are trying to limit the cars. Uh, we, we are trying to uh, make some community center. It's here, also for people living here. Uh, there will be a, a lake, a pond, or whatever water, uh, so that people can use the infrastructure, which is uh, going to be in the new era, in the new district. And it's, it's difficult to talk with people that don't want to have anything in their na neighborhoods. So it's a uh, really challenge to talk with, the, with this, let's say, 100 
100 inhabitants from here that don't want to do anything there. So, and now, uh, what's, the, what's the living club in case of Židlochovice? You know, again, Židlochovice is a small city, so it's much easier. Uh, it's uh, open thanks to this project and uh, also other projects that are developing. I have mentioned the railway station, uh, but th th there is uh, waste management uh, running 10 or 15 years, and it was very innovative at the beginning. So Žilochovice, uh, it's really open to test approaches, test technologies, etc. It has to be meaningful, either for the city of Židlochovice or for the developer. It's, uh, it's very easy, just come and ask. So far we have uh, no rules uh, who's, who, who can test anything. Yeah, it's, it's open and if you, if you come and ask, we will talk about it and find a solution or not. Yeah? But uh, it's as simple. Uh, just it shouldn't uh, harm anyone or be some somehow threatening to the life of the inhabitants uh, or infrastructure, etc. Yeah, but there are no other rules uh, on the other way. And uh, or do we have uh, some opportunities in Hitrali Chimene? There is uh, energy management. We want to have a smart grid there and everything connected to smart grid. It's a very, very broad area. But uh, from the field of uh, AI, it's uh, predictive maintenance or real time, uh, real, time uh, real time operation of the, of the, of the grid. Uh, there will be a lot of decentralized uh, energy sources a lot of decentralized energy consumption consumptions. So how to deal with it? How to deal with the possibility to, uh, to uh, sorry, to trade with flex flexibility. It means I have a battery and if the outer network is low, low of energy, I can sell some electricity to the network. Or otherwise, uh, there's a peak, uh, there is a uh, huge wind in Germany and uh, a lot of electricity, so I can char charge our battery and be paid for it. Yeah? I'm hel helping the grid to reduce the peak, for example. Uh, all the people there, or all the building there will act as a prosumer. It means consumer and production in the same time. Uh, but it's not limited only to, to the leaf. As I said, uh, the, the, the area is too small to make something else than uh, living there. So it's mainly residential. It means uh, people won't be there the whole time the electricity is produced from the, uh, from the photovoltaics. So uh, we have to think about where to consume this electricity. I've mentioned that there is a school and factory and railway station and city town hall in Žilochovice, everything. So we are dealing, in, uh, we are dealing with uh, the problem how to uh, consume the energy which is produced in Lichy some one kilometer away in, uh, in a school, which is easy technically. Uh, th there are wires. Uh, but uh, it's impossible in the current regula regulation. Then we are even trying uh, to think about peer-to-peer uh, -peer energy trading. So one, uh, one, uh, one, one house is producing photovoltaics and sell it directly to someone else without, uh, without selling it to the operator like a GD and buying back. Uh, so uh, these are uh, these are challenges and these are opportunities. How to how to make it? Uh, so if you have a solution that are prepared for smart grid or uh, so smart uh, water metering or how to share bikes, cars, uh, tools, 
etc. Uh, it's open. And it's open to other ideas. Uh, one year ago, we have started with a company, a Vision Craft, to think about. Uh, they they wanted to test their uh, camera si system, yeah, optical recognition of cars and parking spaces, etc. So uh, we have said, okay, let's try it. We have some cameras. You can use our data, or you can install your cameras and try our solution. And if it's working on a on a small scale, then you can upscale it and go to the bigger solution. So as I said, it's small, but it has some advantages. A lot of disadvantages, of course, but also uh, a lot of advantages. And it's all I wanted to say, maybe. OK, uh, <laughs> as I said, feel free to come and ask if you have some solution to test or to pilot or anything. If you have any idea, Zidla uh, is open to cooperate. So thanks for your attention. I hope there will be some questions. And if not, I will ask. So feel free to ask it. <laughs> so thank you very much, Honza. And we are ready for questions. Well, Honza is ready for questions. And there's already one. Yeah. Thank you for a nice presentation. And we are here wondering, is there any estimation of prices per meter square or <laughs> I, I, I know it's too soon, but well, <laughs> any, any guess? Well, there is not, no not that we just want to buy a house there, but aren't you afraid uh, that uh, it will be only for rich people? Or did you have discussions about this topic? Yeah, uh, we have discussions about this topic. Uh, one important thing is uh, one third of the land is uh, owned by the city and two thirds are owned by the uh, business developer normally. Uh, but it's the social innovation in the very beginning. We have thinking about who will live there and that's the answer. Uh, we don't want to have only rich people there. And that's why uh, the city wants to have some social social uh, living, social houses there. Uh, they want to have some houses for um, teachers and uh, doctors who want to live in Žirochovice to provide them with some starters. Uh, well, uh, it everything looks like uh, single-family houses, but uh, these won't be just single-family houses. These these should be flats for either buying or renting. So it's it should be a mix. Uh, we don't want to have there only rich people. Uh, which will result in a lot of cars, for example, a uh, lack of communication, for example. But we want to have the mixture of inhabitants, like older people, like uh, starting families, young, young families, uh, people from Žilochovice. So uh, I won't answer your question for sure, <laughs> or the price, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, there will be some affordable uh, housing for for a certain group of people. So it, it's not going to be some mo monoblock of uh, rich people. I hope so. Yeah. It can fail every, <laughs> every time, but I hope, I, hope, I hope so. And how will you choose who will live there? Will there be any competition or, I don't know, some process of choosing? Because I guess there might be a lot of volunteers that would like to move there. I have no idea yet. <laughs> uh, well, well uh, we don't know. Uh, this is uh, uh, just a sketch. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it, it's going to be changed. Uh, there won't be such a huge density of these houses, for example, as people from uh, these houses are against having uh, such a lot of people living there and looking to their gardens, etc. So. Um, the design is it's design and it, it will change. So uh, we are not sure what's the how, ma how many flats are there for renting, for selling, how many single family houses. Uh, it's in the development. We will know this by the end of this year. 
I hope. And in, by the time it will be also clear uh, how many flats and what kind of flats will be owned by the city. And they will have some rules and the, the rest will be owned by the developer. And even the, uh, even the developer uh, stated that uh, they want to have some flats for renting, not only selling, uh, which is a good sign for us that uh, they are not doing it just for a quick money, quick return of money, but they uh, want to stay in the district longer. Or, uh, let's say, a concrete inspiration from abroad for this, let's say, project? Uh, well, uh, we have funding from Germany, from uh, Deutsche Bundesstiftung Umwelt. I don't know how is it in English, sorry. But it's, uh, it's a German foundation for environment, maybe. And, it's, and also from South Moravian region. Thanks for that. Uh, this is this, this two. Uh, has uh, supported financial uh, development of the project. And uh, uh, we've tried to find such a district uh, in Czech Republic without success, uh, abroad with partly success, but we haven't found such a small area. We have found a great example in Freiburg in Germany, which was great uh, as I was speaking about the cars. Uh, so, um, one year ago, or one and a half year ago, uh, when I uh, mentioned the car-free zone, so uh, I, I was taken like a nerd, yeah, it's not gonna work, it's nonsense, etc. Then, uh, did, uh, one year ago, we uh, were on the excursion and the trip to Freiburg. And there are four city districts, free of cars. Yeah, and one of them is uh, from 1990s, so well, 30 years old. Uh, but uh, this trip has caused that uh, the mayor, uh, Honza Vitula, saw how could it look like a street without cars, with people. And from the, uh, at the, at the beginning, he was against having something like car-free zone. Eh? It was uh, unthinkable. But uh, this, this uh, uh, Freiburg, this uh, Vauban district, has uh, changed his mind. Yeah? Car free zone is okay, and now even the car sharing is okay, and now even the car sharing for the city town is okay. And now he's even thinking about selling his own superb. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, use a shared car. Eh? So it's a huge shift a and it's great. Eh? Uh, he don't want to tell people, okay, use car sharing and I'm having my, my, my own cars and I'm not getting rid of it. No, he wants to persuade people, okay, I'm doing it, try it. And uh, uh, th th there were also examples, but uh, uh, nothing is complex. Uh, there was examples from energy, a lot of uh, energy examples from Germany and Austria. Uh, some examples with water management, but nothing was connected. Sorry, I'm talking too much, excuse me. No, it's, it's okay, I, I, I want to let you to talk if you want. But uh, I had a question. So basically the, the challenge there is kind of as well that you need the people who already did this mindset shift who will, who will move there, right? Because otherwise Mo the problem of the Czech cows, the cars, is that people my first idea was, okay, I will park one car there and second next to the houses of the old, old uh, inhabitants there. Mm -hmm. And they will be super unhappy, right? <laughs> so, like, how, how to approach this, that actually you need to even find their people who are ready for this mind, shi mind, mind shift. Yeah, you, you, you're right. In the current situation, you can sell everything. Yeah, there's a lack of, uh, lack of houses, lack of flats. You can sell everything. So this. This area, I will put there. This area is uh, really for people that uh, are familiar with the, this way of thinking. And it's not only uh, car sharing, but it's also about uh, like the water management, uh, like living together. Yeah, if, if we want to have some shared 
spaces like co-work or something flexible. It can be kindergarten or cafe or whatever. So this is district for people who wants to think in some sustainable way, I would say. So uh, it's not for everyone and uh, I hope uh, the people that want to have three cars won't be going there as they don't have a place to park there. Yeah. But of, of course it's, uh, it's going to be um, it's going to be in two years maybe, hopefully. So I have no idea how, how the market evolves. Who knows, yeah. Just a comment on the car issue, which is a bit <laughs> ideological, but, but also very practical. We have to, I agree with Honza, th this is for like-minded people. So, so people will buy if, if they think they can do with this life stealing without several cars. But we have to be aware that in many cases, in many parts of the region, the, the car is the only reasonable option if you want to get anywhere in a reasonable time. So, um, and that's a very big problem because as I mentioned, we are already paying very huge amounts of money in public subsidies for public transport and still it, it's very expensive to maybe add a rail stop that a rail stop somewhere where it doesn't stop and it, it goes to millions per single rail stop. So, so how to organize this, not very easy. One of these solutions, which I think is to create, and that goes beyond smart and digitization and this, but, but, but to create conditions in, in cities and towns like Zidlochovice that people can start companies there. So co creating co-working spaces and areas where people can start their companies so that they don't need to go to Brno for everything. That, that's one of the solutions. Some towns, we have a project like that in Kiev. Vřeclav is thinking about that. I was talking to Tishnov that because they have very heavy tra traffic to Brno. And many of the people, they, 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 they operate their own companies, but there's lack of office space in, in the town itself. So that's part of the solution to create a local economy. So that's well, a bit thanks. beside, the, I mean, the issue of sm smart uh, district, but, uh, but I think it's very important to think about, uh, about local development and, and conditions that people can really work in the place. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I would say it's the most important <laughs> to keep not to limit people not having car, but to motivate people not need to uh, well, motivate people not to have a car. Yeah, but uh, I would say uh, we are not saying okay, it's completely car free. Yeah, we are saying okay, each each family or each flat needs one car. Yeah, it's uh, a suburb. You cannot deal with the car effectively. Some, some of the people, eh? uh, but uh, do you really need the second one or the third one? Yeah, and uh, we are aiming at the additional cars in the families. And uh, but uh, it's a way of thinking, of course. I have a small question regarding uh, water management. There was a slide about it, and uh, there were three types of water. Uh, drinking water, uh, grey water, I think, and a uh, black water. Can you tell a difference between them, please? Uh, well, uh, do you understand Czech? Do you understand? Okay, so this is uh, drinking water. I, you know what drinking water is. It comes from the pipes and uh, you can drink it. Or flush your toilet with it. It's nonsense. Uh, there is a... Uh, uh, Water for use, I don't know the English term for it, I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, it's a water you don't drink, but you can use this water for watering the plants, for flushing the toilets. And you, can, you, you cannot mix these two waters together. Waters. Uh, but uh, you can use it separately. Uh, and uh, in that case, normally you flush your toilet with drink, drinking water. 
and it makes 50-60% of your water consumption. And why do you flush with drinking water? Yeah, do, do, do you drink from a toilet? I hope, so, I hope not. But <laughs> <laughs> no, normally it's not happening. Uh, and you don't need that water. You, you can save that water. You don't need that water. And uh, again, what's, what's going out of the house? This is uh, some uh, wastewater or dirty water from your personal hygiene. Uh, I mean, from bath, from uh, from the sink. sink thanks, <laughs> and it's uh, just lightly polluted water, yeah, like soap and shampoo, or something like that, which shouldn't be dangerous. Yeah, I I, uh, I suppose not very m many people will pour I don't know benzene or gasoline into into bathtub, so it's lightly polluted, and this is this lehká uh, šrauda, light grey water, yeah, really <laughs> English terminology I don't know, uh, and there is a third type of water from the rain rainwater. N n n normally, uh, in the cities, the rainwater is also captured in the pipes and uh, goes somewhere, somewhere else. We want these two waters, like the rainwater and uh, uh, lightly, uh, lightly polluted water, to stay in this region. Yeah, we can filter it uh, with some um, biological filters and let it to the underground water. And, uh, and then remains the rest of the wastewater, uh, like water going from the uh, toilet, uh, going from the washing machine, and uh, and from laundry. Yeah, and it's expected to be more polluted, even with chemicals, maybe, and uh, with the uh, uh, so solid stuff. And it's going to be uh, to. to to be cleaned in the central facility at the end of Zidlochovice. But uh, if we take this rainwater and the lightly polluted water, we can, say we can save half of the wastewater going out. And again, uh, uh, two days ago I have talked with um, a company running this uh, sewer system. And they were, they were very unhappy with that solution because you, you save 50% of uh, drinking water. It means you pay only half to that company for drinking water. You save 50% of the wastewater. Again, you pay only half to the company for taking care of that uh, wastewater. Uh, and it's a problem. And in this field, I'm uh, I hope that South Moravian region will help us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about this issue. Yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean you uh, personally, but uh, I'm in general. Okay, so our time is up. So thank you very much, Honza, for presenting the district of the future in Jidlochovice. Thank you. And I think it deserves applause. Thank you.